as a political science major in college and as one who's interested in following world affairs and for lack of a better term, things along those lines. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way, by the way, I even read that other people feel this way as far as I recall. I just think that just like with, and I like the way that someone put it, and of course I put it this way too, the election cycle is becoming more and more like the Christmas creep. And in terms of the voter turnout, that's why it's becoming so low because people are going from, oh yeah, I'm excited to go out there, I'm excited to vote, I'm excited to do this and this and this too. Okay, it's not even 2016 yet, for example, and we're already pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And I mean, a lot of other people have said, you know, there are too many debates, there are too many this, there are too many that. And it does get to a point where it's like, okay, we don't even know if we have tomorrow, so chill out on having too many debates, chill out on having, it just gets to a point where it's like, okay, if voters want to be informed, they'll be informed. And I mean, the next time we have an election, so it's 2016, and let's say that, God willing, so we vote, they're already going to be talking about the 2020 election, and they're talking about it right now. It's like, really? Really? Part of the reason for the voter turnout being so low is because of the information overload and the, whoa, just rushing everything. And after a while, it gives people a headache. And I, I mean, what else do I say? By the way, too, one person suggested that everybody in terms of the debates and what have you are asked the same questions. That one I disagreed with because there are certain questions that need to be tailored to each of the candidates. For example, I'm not going to ask Carly Fiorina about what she's done as the governor of Ohio that she would implement in the White House. And I'm not going to ask John Kasich what he would do in terms of what he did when he was at HP and how he would implement that in the White House. So there's that. And I might watch the seven o'clock debate. I don't know yet. So I'm likely going to watch the seven o'clock debate. I will watch the nine o'clock to 11 o'clock debate. And there's that.